In this video, we are going to use integration to find an area enclosed between a curve and a line. Our curve is y equals 2 over x squared plus x. And our line runs between two points on the curve, A, which is the point where x equals a half, and B, which is the point where x equals 2. So first we need a plan. How can we use our knowledge to deduce what the shaded area is? The shaded area is between the curve and the line. We know that we can use integration to find this area, the area under the curve and above the x-axis. And we know that this area plus the shaded area is a trapezium. We can see that. There it is. It is well within our ability to find the area of a trapezium. So we now have a plan. The area of the trapezium take away this area between the curve and the x-axis equals the shaded area. Let's go. First, let's find the area of the trapezium. We know that the width of the trapezium is 1.5. We need to know the y values of a and b in order to find the lengths of the parallel sides in the trapezium. Okay, so we find those by substituting the x values into the equation. When we substitute x equals a half into this equation, we get y equals 8.5. <coughs> when we substitute x equals 2 into the equation, we get y equals 2.5. So this side is 8.5, this side is 2.5, so we can work out the trapezium area by adding these two parallel sides, dividing by 2 and multiplying by the width between them. Let's write this down. Now, next part of the plan, we need to find the area between the curve and the x-axis using integration. Here it is written out mathematically. We're integrating that with respect to x between the values 2 and a half. Let's do that. So we've integrated and now we just need to substitute 2 in and then take away the value when half is substituted in. So when we substitute 2 into there, we get 1. When we substitute half in there, we get negative 31 over 8. So we have to do 1 minus minus 31 over 8. And that and that is that. Okay, so now to round this off, we've got the trapezium area and we're taking away the area under the curve and we get this. So 3.375 is the shaded area. Bring it back down again. The shaded area just there. I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.